Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you are all doing great yourself at home. Welcome to this class. So today I am going to start a new concept. A, that concept will give us a lot of questions in our mind. Whatever we are preparing daily, we will try to do try to clear that questions but even though we'll get such like little bit of questions so that questions we or i am going to clear you so yes i am talking about an english so english language became an important concept okay so in our daily communication it's important to us to read to understand where to use the, which kind of word okay so today one by one, I am going to clear your doubts. So I hope this video is going to help you. So now you may have a question. What I am going to teach you? Of course, I am going to teach you a grammar. Okay, so grammar, of course, it plays an important role. And this is the concept who gives us a lot of, lot of questions. How many times also we prepared, someone will come and someone will say, no, this is not a kind of a verb. You have to use different kind of a verb. But now, don't worry. I am going to explain step by step to you all so that you'll understand okay so now i'll start without any can without wasting a time from our childhood we are mugging up everything for example if i ask you like what is parts of speech everyone will stay we will start saying that noun pronoun verb adverb yes you are all because why because we from a childhood from a school from a college life everyone has just telling us or just they are just telling a words but they are not explaining in detail right so now that's what i came up so i'll start one by one because word and letter you are all aware with the letter and word confusion right so letter of course a one letter and word that is cat cat that will be a word but when the time comes to write an essay We'll get a lot of confusion either to use this kind of verb or that or to use where to put full stop, where to ha where we have to put comma. So this is all a common like this is all common confusion that we have. But now I'm not going to explain everything in the single video, but I'll try to explain one by one so that you'll understand it in a detailed way. OK, so now let's move on. So now noun. What is noun? You'll say, okay, now the name of a person, place and thing, right? Everyone will say the same thing because we are mug up. But the one thing we are all should know that noun is a naming thing, right? So here, noun, if, like noun is the name of a person, place and things. But are you all aware with the countable and uncountable noun? Yes, you are all aware with that, right? Of course, so you may say, okay, countable noun, that is, we should count, uncountable noun, that we can't able to count, right? Okay, so here, when to make a sentence, okay, when we sit in an exam hall and we say, we are supposed to write an essay, and of course, we have to follow some structure to write an sentence, right? So, while writing that sentence, we'll make a silly mistakes. Because of that silly mistakes, we are going to lose the marks, right? So, it's very, very important that everyone so that you especially you have to understand the meaning the de the, the concept main important thing is concept you have to understand the concept okay now it's not that much difficult but if we practice regularly if we like speak with our friends with a with uh, not with neighbors not but with our friends or with our sister brother if we sp try to speak then we are able to understand okay there are so many things we search during the time of exams, right? So, we'll search, okay, what is countable and uncountable noun? Okay, noun is only one thing, but when to frame a sentence, you'll get a lot of questions in your brain, okay? So, now, without any further delay, let's move on. Countable noun and uncountable noun, that is countable noun, talks about people, that is teacher, doctor, lawyer, we can able to count them, right? How many teachers are there? How many doctors are there? Okay, what is uncountable? Of course, uncountable noun is a substances. First, we we'll use in a substance that is milk, oil, sugar, salt, etc. Okay, so there are so many things we can't able to count. 
that is the first substance next is abstract things what is abstract abstract means we can't able to touch we can able to feel it that is like knowledge truth hate love etc okay this is what you have to understand uncountable noun means what you yeah, will use in a substances and then abstract things substances that is milk water sugar okay and when it comes to the countable noun of course we can able to count it okay clear then after this the main important concept that you have to learn that is rules okay so without rules it's very difficult to understand because from our childhood we are learning okay countable and uncountable one but when it comes to frame a sentence we'll make a n number of mistakes so the first rule is always countable noun comes with plural yes okay always countable noun comes with plural that is a first rule and what what about uncountable noun uncountable noun comes in a singular okay so confusion so we'll discuss with an examples now so the first examples there are many students in the class today they are many students students is a countable noun right so what what's our first rule in a countable noun we'll start with a plural that is students is a plural correct next example he gave me few milk yesterday is it right he gave me few milk yesterday okay first i'll tell you the examples then she added some salts in the food she added some salts in the food so now first here you have to remember that is he gave me few milk mm -hmm. no we won't use few in an uncountable one we can able to use some okay but we can't able to use few so it's a wrong sentence we we won't say that he gave me few milk yesterday no he gave me some milk okay then she added some salts of course here we have some but what about salt i told you remember that rule what was that rule i said that uncountable noun comes in a what in a singular so that is salt we won't say salts yes is not important okay so next uncountable noun we can say there are so many things for example work bread information scenery equipment for this what for it, it always be a singular how so now we'll discuss with an examples now okay so let's move on to the examples he eats three breads in a day okay he eats three breads in a day okay next first i'll i'll go to the examples then i'll explain to you okay she gave some useful informations she gave some useful informations next he gave me some advice he gave me some advice so now you have to remember the rules what was the rules so the first rule i told you that is always countable noun comes with what comes with plural okay uncountable noun comes in a singular way so now we'll have a look with that with these examples he eats three breads no we won't use three breads we can say that is three pieces of bread okay because b r e a d we we'll use we won't add s yes over there next we have she gave some useful informations n s informations that is uncountable in uncountable it always be a singular so if it's a singular we are not supposed to add what yes clear so the second example was also wrong next he gave me some advice he gave me some advice okay so advice advice is what it's, it's an abstract okay so he gave me some advice so now there are so many students who will make this confusion what was that advice and oh sorry advice and advice a d v i c e is a noun okay like un like uncountable sorry here i made a mistake then advice advice means verb okay don't get confused v i c e is a noun and v i s e is a verb okay so how you can able to practice it i know like you may have a questions now so no it's not that much difficult again i'll i'll try to tell you that is countable and uncountable noun 
countable that we can able to count and it always comes with a plural uncountable no it's not a plural it comes with a singular that is substance and abstract substance means milk oil sugar then abstract that is we can't able to touch we can able to feel that is knowledge love hate okay or uh, justice okay this is these are all kind of uncountable okay you are supposed to remember the examples you are supposed to remember the rules then only you are able to understand this countable and uncountable noun okay so now we'll move on to the next so for that you are supposed to practice more okay fine then so now we'll move on to the next that is compound nouns so compound noun what what is that the compound means what combining right combine example here we have that is sister in law yes sister in law passer by okay sister in law of course passer by means the person move on here right in front of us it moves so he moves so here what was that here sister in law and passer by okay so of course we need an examples without examples we can't able to understand so now we have she always quarrel with her sister in laws on pity issues p i w t sorry for that so pity issues or we can say pity means what a small issue okay or we can say that minor issue trivial issue okay so here she always quarrel with her sister in laws okay next example then i'll tell you the rules okay next some passer by came forward to help her some passer by came forward to help her next a lookers on rush to help the accident victim a lookers on rush to help the accident victim so what we have to understand sister in law we can able to add sisters in law here sisters in law we won't say sister in law so it is wrong next some passer by why yes no here we can say passers by then a lookers on of course okay so lookers on is a correct one so here also you are supposed to understand that in a compound uh, noun that first that is sister passer looker there we can able to add yes not loss by and on clear okay so now we'll move on to the next that is collective noun this is the next concept that is collective noun what is collective noun of course a collection of things or people okay for example example i can tell you that is mob mob is like a people mob lynching you are all aware with that right lynching means those who harm a people okay those who harm a person and that person will near to that so that kind of mob lynching okay violent those who have the habit of while doing the violent works okay okay fine so mob committee jury team okay so for that we'll say the collective noun of course that is a collection of things or people next two rules that you are have you are you all have to understand what was the rules so the first rule is if in a collective noun if you saw that a action shows unity okay if a action shows unity you are supposed to use pronoun singular and verb singular okay so if action uh, in a shows unity in a sentence you are supposed to use pronoun singular and verb also singular and of course neuter gender then if shows division or individual okay so if the action shows division so there we are supposed to use pronoun plural and verb plural keep this in your mind okay these are the rules that you have to understand okay got it if actions are doing unity the actions are performing in a unity so that you we are all supposed to use pronoun singular verb singular when it comes to the actions that's doing individually they you have to use plural pronoun and plural verb confused we'll go to the examples the first example we have the committee have announced its decision unanimously okay that is the committee has announced the decision unanimously means with one voice means unitedly the committee is sitting so with one voice so what is that yes 
it's a unity so what what's our first tool i'll go back again what's our first tool that is if it shows unity the pronoun will be singular and verb will also singular so what's there here the committee have have is a singular or plural verb of course so have will use in a plural so here we have to add what has h a s has so this is wrong clear okay next example the judge the jury were divided in its judgment in its case okay the judge were divided okay sorry here the judge were so not the were the judge were divided in its judgment in its the case so here the jury jury of course so here the jury were divided so here we have leave about this the judge will go from here the jury were divided in its judgment in its the case some lot of uh, mistakes there here so what was that mistake jury plural here is there so plural were but jury so here we have to add what no it's a correct because jury is doing its own work so here we are supposed to add were were is correct jury were divided in its judgment in its its is there one point if is there its you are supposed to add there t h e i r the jury were divided judgment in their okay in their case this uh, example is wrong sorry for the mistake so here i'll dictate that the jury were divided in its okay were divided in its judgment okay in its judgment in its the case okay next next example the team have arrived its hotel by different buses of course different buses so what was that hmm so here team have of course the team is a singular because different buses so you we are supposed to add plural verb arrived its its no we have to add their t h e i r if there is a plural it won't come its we have to add t h e i r so for this also you have to practice well then only you are going to understand it in a detail okay now let's move on to the number so what was that so number you are all away that is singular and plural right a boy a girl plural plural is not a more than two or three it's more than one that is two boys okay ha huh. so now some other rules that is um, sorry yeah name of some diseases when we say name of the some diseases we'll use a singular that is diabetes aids rickets measles rabies etc we'll use this in a singular that is rabies are a deadly disease rabies are a deadly disease because it's a singular okay if this disease is a singular here what we are supposed to add we are supposed to add a singular verb correct so i a r e is there so this is wrong we have to add i s e s deadly means was fatal that is deadly disease next measles is not a deadly disease so m e a s l e m e a s l e is there so we have to add yes because measles but what was here we have to add yes so it is a wrong sentence okay again i am telling this is an, some disease we'll use we'll pronounce at a plural but we'll use as a singular clear with this i hope it's clear to you all next sorry so here there are so many students will make a mistake that is disease and disease d i s e a s e means what it's a fatal disease right disease means death okay don't make a mistakes okay name of some countries or organizations for that also we we'll use a singular singular verb so here the united nations united nations so you you may say ma'am what was that nations is a singular so how we can able sorry plural that how we can able to use it as a singular no it's a rule we have to follow next the united arab emirates so this is also we have to use verb singular examples the united nations have to solve this crisis is it right or wrong the united nations have to solve this crisis good 
it's not have we have to add has has why because it's a singular and we have to add a singular word verb good next next we'll move on to the next that is name of some games for some games also we use now if i say cricket so you'll understand so now here billards tennis cards darts so these are some games which end with yes but it pronounce sorry it pronounce with a plural but we'll use it as a singular examples billards are not a very expensive game billard are not a very expensive game so is it right or wrong correct it's wrong because billards is not a very expensive game good everyone are improving now we'll move on to the next so name of some books the arabian nights the hard times the tale of two cities it will use in a sentence as a singular we won't use it as a plural clear okay example so we'll move to the example now that is the tale of two cities are a very interesting book will you say that no it's wrong because the tale of two cities is a very interesting book good everyone next here we have that is the children like so many uh, people will use it as a wrong because they'll say children's no it's not a children we'll use children children is a plural it comes with a plural people plural women plural men plural okay no confusion here okay examples children is playing in the park is it right or wrong right no it's not right because children is a plural and we have to add what children are good next v next example women's have supported the proposal women's have supported what the proposal okay so here women's is it right is it right or wrong because women is a singular no correct it's plural so yes we are not supposed to add we just want to add only women women have have is a plural clear with this any confusion i hope you don't have any kind of confusions so if you are getting a confused please watch it again and to understand in a detailed way so that you can plus you have to practice it then only you can able to understand okay next in a noun that is case what kind of case no i'm not going to put any kind of case on you <laughs> so here we have three kind of cases namely nominative or subjective case nominative or subjective case next possessive case what is possessive that shows possession right okay next objective case okay these are the three important case that you or all have to understand so now one by one i'll explain to you nominative case now you may ask oh my god what is this new kind of word no it's not a new kind of word we are all learned during the time of our college or school but now it's a new because uh, from a college life we are not aware with this okay fine so nominative case it use as a noun or pronoun okay in a sentence it comes in a subject place in a sentence it comes in a subject place example i know you need, we want an you need an example rohit helped sumit who is rohit here subject or object of course subject okay so rohit helped sumit so rohit is a noun and it comes as a subject place so for that we'll say what for that we'll say nominative case clear with this no confusion good next possessive case of course everyone are everyone are away with this possession showing the possession this is my pen this is my book okay fine so now of course it also used as a noun or pronoun it shows what it shows possession but okay example that is sumit's car that is sumit's car here you have to understand the apostrophe okay t yes because of course when it show when we are going to tell a possessive or possess possessive case we will add apostrophe yes next this is my car or this is my mobile this is my pen so of course it shows what it shows possessive clear with this okay next we have objective case okay what's this new one objective case of course it's also used in a noun or pronoun in a sentence it comes in a object place yes nominative case in a sentence 
nominative case uh, that comes in a subject place but in objective case it comes in a object place object objective nominative subject okay understand that okay example rohit helped them rohit is a subject to whom he helped he helped them them is an object clear okay clear then now we'll move on to the possessive case of noun okay uh, here I am going to discuss a lot of examples. Then I will tell you the, some rules that you have to understand. Okay. Huh. So the first example here we have. Sorry. She lives in a girl's hostel in Delhi. She lives in a girl's hostel where in Delhi. So where is the mistake? She lives in a girl's hostel in Delhi. Girl. Got it? Girl is a singular. And girls uh, in the hostel no, one girl is not going to leave right there are so many girls so here we this is wrong we have to add g i r l s and then we have to put apostrophe okay clear in a plural we'll put after a word that is girls apostrophe clear next he broke the child's toy in a fit of rage Okay, fit of range means what? Fit of range means what? Fit of range means anger. It's a phrase. So, fit of range means anger. In a anger. Okay. So, child, of course, toys. So, this is correct. Next. Sorry. Next. He went to, uh, he went to a boy's library to meet them. He went to a boy's library. Is it right? Now you may say, yes ma'am, you, you told us first that after yes, we have to put apostrophe. So here also is same. No. Here again, extra word, extra letter came. What was that? Yes. So if there is a yes, no, it's not right. It's wrong. We just have to add boys apostrophe. That's enough. He went to a boy's library to meet them. Next. He held them for his conscience sake. Okay. So here. C O N S C I E N C E. This is wrong. This is wrong. What I am pronouncing, that's right. That is C O N S C I E N C E. Consigned sake. Consigned means what? Soul. Okay. For its antaratma something. Okay. So he uh, helped them for his consigned sake. Is it right or wrong? Of course it's right. Next. So the next example, you will say that Jesus sake. Correct. Now. He broke the chair's leg out of anger. Is it right? He broke the chair's leg out of anger. Remember, for non-living things, we won't add apostrophe. We won't show the possessiveness. Okay? We'll use preposition. Yes. We'll use preposition of for non-living things. We won't use possessive. I'll show you the correct example here. He broke the leg... He broke the leg of chair out of anger. Okay. He broke the leg of chair out of anger. Okay. Clear here. So possessive case of noun it's important. And I know it's a little bit confusing but not that much. Okay. It's it will come in an ex competitive exams. It will come in during lot of kinds of exams. So it's very very important that we are all have to practice it. Okay. I'll tell you some rules again. See they were amazed at the mall's beauty. No. They were amazed. How you can able to say they were amazed at the mall beauty or what? So here we have to say they were amazed. Amazed means what? Amazed means surprised. Right? Sorry. So they were amazed at the beauty of mall. Because mall is a what? Correct. It's a non-living thing. So, we'll use beauty of mall. Okay. So, finally, I'm going to tell you the rules of this possessive. See, if a noun is a singular, apostrophe is added. Okay. If a noun is a singular, apostrophe is added. How? See, I told you that is he broke the child's. Correct? C-H-I-L-D apostrophe is. Next, if a word ends with s or is, that is use of apostrophe not yes if end if the word end with his sound okay we won't use what we just only add apostrophe we won't add yes that is boys girls clear good next i told you at again i am telling 
for non living things we want to add what possessiveness okay we'll just use the preposition called of of okay so what and all we discussed in today's class so i try to explain you about noun this is all about noun okay so noun i explained you about countable and uncountable noun right then we moved on to the compound nouns that is sisters sister in law correct with some rules then collective noun and uh, with some rules and with examples then numbers that is singular and plural and some kinds of words that is name of some diseases countries okay there we used uh, some kinds of words that words will remain singular but will pronounce at a plural okay then we discuss the main important concept that is case that is nominative objective and possessive then finally possessive case of noun it's very very important that it's it's going to it's not going to leave us okay so it, in our daily conversation we have to practice it okay so this is all about today's class i hope you liked it and i hope i gave some some information about noun and it helped you a lot so yes thank you till then take care bye bye